Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial. I'm glad you're here. In this tutorial we're going to talk about variables. And variables are truly fundamental to all computer programming languages and the Arduino is no exception. So by the end of this lesson you're going to be able to understand basically what a variable is and how to use variables and also how to spell the word variable if we're lucky. So what is a variable and how do I make them? So variables, they're programming tools that, kind, that basically allow us to carry around information from one part of a program to another part of a program. So let's go ahead and let's start with a mental picture. So a variable, it's like a bucket. You can put things in a bucket and you can take things out of a bucket, but the bucket doesn't change. What changes is what's in the bucket. Okay, so let's say that again. You can put things in a variable and you can take things out of a variable, but the variable stays there. What changes is the contents of the variable. So this illustrates our first point, and that is the contents of a variable can change. Okay, so now variables, truthfully speaking, are more like specialty purpose buckets. So imagine a bucket with a heavy duty, heavy duty handle, and it's, it's been designed to carry rocks. Okay, or think about a bucket that's got a pour spout on it, and it's been designed to carry liquids. So when you make a variable, you specify what type of stuff that you're going to put into that variable, or for our mental picture, what you're going to put into that bucket. So for programming, the stuff that you specify is called the data type. So some examples of data types are integers, characters, and arrays. And once you've specified that data type, you've got to keep your promise, and you can only put data types into that type of data type that you specify into that variable that you named. So this means that if you make a variable and you say, hey, this variable is only going to hold rocks, then you can put all different types of rocks in that variable. But the second you try to pour beer into the rock bucket, you're going to get an error. Okay? So this leads us to the second point. A variable will only hold what data type that you specify. Okay, so let's make this a little more concrete. All right, let's let's show how we're actually going to type the, type this into the Arduino IDE. So the process of making a variable is called declaring or declaration. So when you declare a variable, there's two things that you need to tell the program. First, what type of things you plan to put in the bucket? That's called the data type. And then secondly, what is the name of the bucket? Because you're going to want to refer back to the variable. So you need a name for it. So to declare a variable, you write the type of contents it will hold. So again, that's the data type, followed by the name. And there's a space in between. So here's a pretend declaration using our mental picture. Rock, and then my bucket of rocks. And then here's an actual variable declaration using an integer. So it's int my number. So again, we have got the data type, and we also have the name, and then it ends with a semicolon. So the first thing you notice in the above declarations is that the data type is a different color. And that's because the Arduino knows variable data types and gives them a special color to reduce confusion. And this is done automatically for you. So what you should do is you should pause right here, you should open up your Arduino IDE, type in the letters INT, and they should turn the color orange. Or you could try typing in the word void, V-O-I-D, or you know, type in Mama Jamma and see if it changes colors. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's shift here a little bit and let's talk about naming variable variables. So the second part of the declaration is giving the name giving the variable a name. So you can pretty much name a variable whatever you want, but there are certain restrictions. So for example, a variable name cannot have spaces or special characters in it, though an underscore is permitted. Upper and lowercase letters are fine and numbers are okay too, but you can't just have a number uh, for the name of your variable. It can't just be a number, and your variable must start with a letter, not a number. And finally, just one other point, variable names cannot be the name of an Arduino keyword. So, you know, we've already kind of touched on keywords, but there's words that the Arduino IDE has said, hey, these are keywords, 
and they're restricted for keyword use so you cannot use them as variable names okay now in addition to these restrictions there are a couple good conventions to follow so when I say recommended I'm actually saying man you should do this or you're gonna hate yourself later so the variable name should be as descriptive of its function as possible so for example the LED pin variable could be the pin number that you put your LED on onto your Arduino board so that kinda of makes it clear I mean you could name that you could name that variable mom but what what does that mean to you five days from now? I mean, I guess it means it's your mom, but that's weird. And what does it mean to somebody else? They don't know. So try to make the name of the variable descriptive of its function. Okay, now you should always start your variables with lowercase letters. And then if your variable name is two words connected together, then you should capitalize the first letter of the second word. And then if you have multiple words, just keep capitalizing the first letter of the of the words as you go okay so we've talked about the names the conventions let's go ahead and talk about the integer data type for a second okay now again there's several types of data types that you can declare but again I just want to talk about the integer data type because that's the first that we're going to encounter in the next tutorial so you probably know that an integer is a whole number and a whole number is just a number with no decimals. So like 5, 10, 1,054, no decimal points. So like 1.5, that would not be a whole number. So for Arduino, an integer is a number from negative 32,768 to positive 32,768. So if you try to put a number bigger than that into an integer variable, the value is actually going to roll over to the opposite side like a game of Pac-Man. So if you, add, if you add the number 5 to 32,767, you would get negative 32,763. So, and, and then if you subtracted 5 from negative 32,768, you'd actually get positive 32,762. So again, the reason this is is because when we specify data types, basically what we're, we're telling the compiler is, to set aside so much space for this information, for this variable. And it's only going to allow so much space, and it's only going to let you use so much of that space. Okay, we're not going to get too much into the details there, but that's kind of the why behind the, the how, or the how behind the why. You know what I'm talking about. So again, integer is abbreviated INT, and since integer is an Arduino data type, it will change color to orange. So here is a declaration and a variable declaration we have int for integer a space followed by led which is the name of the variable we've got here and then it's finished with a semicolon so good let's go ahead and recap variable declaration the first thing you do is write the data type this is what the type of stuff you're going to put in the variable and then next you name the variable so try to use a name um, that makes sense and this is the name that you're going to use to refer to it over and then finally you end it with a semicolon alright so now let's move on to initializing variables so I mean it's great we can make variables right wonderful but how do we actually put stuff in the variable so the process of putting something in a variable is called initialization or initialize so to initialize a variable all you do is set it equal to something using an equal sign right, that's pretty easy so first, remember, you always have to declare a variable. So here we have int LED followed by a semicolon. So we've made our declaration. But now we want to initialize the LED variable to the value 13. So all we do is we type the name of the variable. We get an equal sign. Then we say, hey, you're equal to 13. And we finish it with a semicolon. That's, that's easy. So now, essentially what we've done is we've put 13 in the LED bucket. Okay? So the LED variable is now going to represent the number 13 for us. Okay? It's pretty easy. And anytime we want to refer back to the number 13, all we have to do is type LED and the program's going to know, oh, LED holds 13, so we must be talking about the number 13. All right, so now what we can also do is we can initialize and declare a variable right at the same time. So that's really easy too. All you do is you write your declaration, so INT LED, but instead of a semicolon, you just go ahead and set it equal 
to whatever value you want to put it in there. In this case, it's 13, and then you finish it with the semicolon. So now the variable LED has been initialized to the value 13. So now anytime I refer to the LED variable, I will get the value 13. So that pretty much wraps it up. So you should kind of get what a variable is like. You know, what is it? And you should know how to declare one, and you should know how to initialize one. And you should also be familiar with the integer data type and kind of have a fuzzy idea of what data type means. And I assure you that as we continue all of this variable stuff, like why we use them and, and how are they useful, it is all going to solidify. But right now, I think you've got enough information to move on to the next tutorial where we write our first program. I'll see you then. Thanks so much for joining me.